Burundi now just months after turmoil broke out in Burundi following President Pierre Nkurunziza's decision to vie for a third term in office, the escalating violence is now biting hard at the country's economy and unemployment rates are scaling uh, rapidly. Now, as political instability lingers in, many young people say the future looks bleak as the rate of unemployment continues to soar and irregular inflation rates continue to make life at the East African country more unbearable. Timothy Otieno reports. This greenhouse located at the heart of Burundi's capital Bujumbura belongs to 34-year-old Teddy Muhire. After graduating from university with a degree in economics in 2008, he couldn't find a job and decided to start his own business growing and selling tomatoes. But Teddy now sadly admits that he could be at the verge of bankruptcy. Since violence erupted in April this year, the young man has struggled to make sales. The terms are anti Movienna the spread of the pouvoir public, the politique. I sometimes think that politicians purposely neglect the youth, leave them unemployed and force the rest of the population to resort to begging in order to control the population but also profit from them. Today, young people are educated and informed and they know how other young people in the world live and they are confident enough to compete with other young people in the region. They have access to information and they are aware of world events but unfortunately when you have young people who are hungry and employed it's hard for them to take charge for their lives because they are not independent. Burundi has been mad in turmoil and sporadic violence since President Pierre Kurunzinza announced his bid for another five-year term in April. He was sworn in on August the 20th after winning an election boycotted by his opponents. But the violence hasn't stopped since. The riots are weighing heavy on the country's economy with inflation rates soaring over time. Economic analysts fear a worsening economic situation for the country that may see more people jobless and the economy dwindle to severely low levels. Young people need to be more independent and more entrepreneurial. Maybe what they will struggle with is getting startup capital, but that's another issue. I think that people should work for themselves and create their own companies and stop relying on others to hire them. Aniset Ndaishimir's story, perhaps a representation of the sad state of the country's economy. He has two university degrees to his name, but spends most of his days on the internet browsing for job applications. It is a government that has to take lead for all these young people. A young person with no job can become dangerous to society and grow up to cause even more unrest in the society. The World Bank puts Burundi's unemployment rate at 11%, but with investors and business people remaining cautious due to the political tension, there isn't much recruitment going on. Already, the European Union and the United States, the country's two biggest donors, have promised to impose sanctions if President Kurunziza does not bring an end to the ongoing violence that has plagued the nation. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.